Hi guys, I'm Jaina and welcome back to my channel. Um, and if you're new, hello, I'm Jaina. Um, I just wanted to do a video to talk about my December faves. And yes, you'll notice I'm wearing the same outfit as probably my last video, but I just wanted to film the content and get the video out because I need to talk about my favourites for the month. Um, some of them are new and some of them are kind of ones that I've kind of left and gone back to. So my first one is um, a physician's formula, the Butter Bronzer. I didn't hear about this brand until about maybe like a couple of months ago. Um, I bought this off Phil Unique because I saw it on Instagram, I think it was, and the post looked really pretty. So I just kind of Googled it and bought it off there. Um, it's got a couple of cons and a couple of pros. The pro for me is when you open it, it smells like a holiday. Like I can't explain it. Maybe it's, I don't know if it's that sun cream smell or just the smell overall of when you're on holiday, like the beach, the sand, the sun cream, the cocktail, I don't know. That is the smell. So if you don't like scented products, this is a no from you. But if you don't mind scented products, I can't recommend bronzer enough. It's very light, but it's super buildable. I use it with a super fluffy um, brush. My con is that it's super flimsy packaging. The packaging itself is like something you would get off, um, you know, when you were a kid and you used to have like, like the dolls that you could do makeup and hair and stuff on. That is what the packaging is. The bonus is there is a mirror. Um, so that you can kind of, it, it's a compact that you can kind of take around with you. It did come with this weird applicator, but it's like a sponge, not even a brush. And I don't apply bronzer like that. So I've kind of just kept that in the bottom. My number two, the Dior palette. Can you see that? Is that reflection? Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Basically, I love Dior makeup. Like, I just think the quality is amazing. The pigments are amazing. The price, yes, it's an investment. But if you want to invest in good makeup, Dior is like my go-to um, for like high end. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And it is four shades it's four different shades so you have the strobe you've got the um gold strobe these two at the bottom are kind of like blushes but they're very shimmery for blush so i do use this one as a highlighter when i've kind of got um dark makeup and then this is a super pigmented glittery pink i've only actually used that to test so you can kind of see i do a swatch you'll be able to see how pink it is it's very pink actually let me just do all of them now so you can see the difference the brown is super nice so that's the brown um, I absolutely love that one there. And then I'm just trying to find a clean finger. And then the strobes are what they are. They're just highlighters. So you can kind of see the two different. That one is my go-to. As you can see, it's probably the most used in there. That's currently what I'm wearing right now. And you get like the nicest kind of glow. I got it for a gift, um, but I haven't stopped using it since. It's something I asked for as well. So I'll link below. This is... The Dior. The only downfall is, again, it's plastic packaging and I think it's such a cute compact that I think I would have liked to mirror in it so it's in my bag and I can kind of top up and use it when I need. But again, it's not a powder, so does it really need a mirror? This is like a beauty must have for me. The three product for December is my MAC Extended Play Pair Me Up Lash. Can you see? That is my go-to mascara now. I kind of used to use MAC all the time and then I came away from it and went a bit more high-end. So like the Charlotte Tilbury, I was using Chanel quite a bit, which was a really good product. But I just, I think this was an, I think they had like 20% off. So I think it was on offer again. So I just thought I'll get it. I'll try it out again. And like, I haven't put it down since. It's really buildable. So I'll kind of do, I'll curl my eyelashes first. I'll do one or two layers from the root up. And then once that's dry, I'll go in again with one last layer and I'll kind of start lash halfway and then go up to the top. And that kind of just extends it and kind of curls them over. Um, I, based on Mac, they're probably about 20 pound, but I'll put the link again on where you could find it. It's super easy. I'm just gonna show you the brush. So the brush is super thin. It's got like a little curve to it. Can you see? Really bristly. And what I like about it is it's not plastic. Like it's not that plastic brush that you keep getting in mascaras. I just wasn't a fan of those. They didn't separate my eyelashes. And this really does help to keep your lashes separated. It doesn't go clumpy. And that's why I really like it. And the other benefit of this is it does not flake. I can't 
like explain how many times people kind of promote like the mascara and they rave and run and yes it did make my eyes look amazing however it flakes like halfway through the day I would have like black dots on my face and like on my work I'd have like black dots all around the paper so it just was a no from me but I definitely recommend the MAC one number four is the NARS orgasm blusher so hmm, I used to use this way back obviously when it came out and I absolutely loved it and then I finished I actually got this um as an additional buy when I bought a feel I think it was feel unique so it's like the tiny it's just the sample one I think it's like 14 pound or something added it to my basket um but again I'm wearing it today I mean do you even have to say anything for it it's super nice it's it's very pink got like a gold tone to it which is really nice um again I apply blusher with quite a open loose blush brush just to kind of get the product in and I kind of apply it around my temple I think that kind of lifts the whole face but in terms of NARS product, I absolutely love the NARS range. I love all the names in NARS range. Um, I use their foundation. I, I just don't know what else to say about it. Like it is what it is and it's amazing. My last December fave is actually the e.l.f. Um, blusher. I think it was four pounds. Four pounds. Well, I've got the shade Berry Merry. I think it is, is it close to Nars Orgasm? I don't know. So like Nars Orgasm is very pink and you can see the gold undertones. This is more of a natural um, shade. It's got a mirror, so it's got everything you need. It's quite a big amount for four pounds, I think it was. Again, I feel unique. I think I bought it from, I kind of went on a haul. I love this. I think the pink is buildable. I kind of steered away for ages from wearing blush. I was kind of just wearing bronzer, um, but I, this is the blush that has made me fall in love with blush again. Um, it's pigmented. It sits on the skin nice. It goes on really smooth. It lasts all day. And under £10, like, <sighs> under £10, people, like, hello. Try it. Um, they definitely have more shades. You can get it from Boots as well. Um, but I definitely, this is one of my recommends. The pricing is there. The feel of the packaging even though it's plastic it feels quite sturdy like I don't feel like it's going to break it's super nice to have it's a nice size I can fit it in my bag I can top it up when I want if I need to however every time I've worn this I've never needed to top it up so it's been great so guys they are my December favorites like I said some are old some are new I just wanted to share what I kind of like this month next month they might change they might not um, but I just thought it was a super fun video to do and I hope you liked it. If you did, please like this video and subscribe because your support means the absolute world to me on this journey. Um, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.